Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today we will continue our video about ultrasound of superficial soft tissue masses. Number two, epidermal inclusion cyst. Background. Epidermal inclusion cyst is a superficial lesion that involves the hair bearing areas of the body, most commonly the head or neck, trunk and scrotum and less commonly involves the extremities. It is more common in men and is rare prior to puberty. Variable terms have been used for epidermal inclusion cyst, including infundibular cyst and epidermal cyst. An epidermal inclusion cyst histologically has a fibrous capsule with stratified squamous epithelial lining and a lumen filled with keratin debris with rare reports of malignant transformation. In regard to its origin, a congenital epidermal cyst may be formed by trapping of displaced embryonic epithelial wrists, commonly occurring in the head and the neck. Acquired epidermal inclusion cysts can result from obstruction of hair follicles or implanted fragments of epidermis in the dermis after a penetrating injury or an injection. Multiple epidermal cysts can occur in patients with Gardner syndrome, particularly on the face and the scalp. Ultrasound findings When an epidermal inclusion cyst is not ruptured, it most commonly appears ovoid and mildly hyperechoic with increased posterior throat transmission. Internal heterogeneity is characteristic with linear low echogenic areas and scattered areas of bright linear echoes and anechoic clefts, representing keratin debris. Calcification is rare in epidermal inclusion cysts. They usually have well-defined borders and a hypoechoic halo without internal flow on Doppler ultrasound images. They may have a grayscale appearance simulating the echogenicity of a testicle. Other features of an epidermal inclusion cyst include involvement of more than 50% of the dermal layer and the presence of a focal hypoechoic region extending towards the epidermis, the submarine sign. When ruptured or infected, an epidermal inclusion cyst may appear lobular with increased flow on Doppler ultrasound images and many of the characteristic features will be absent. Differential Diagnosis The characteristic ultrasound features of an epidermal inclusion cyst aid in differentiation from complex cysts or cystic masses. A ruptured epidermal inclusion cyst has a more non-specific appearance and may simulate the appearance of other diseases. A triclinal bilar cyst may be differentiated from an epidermoid cyst by its location, the vast majority arising from the scalp, the absence of a connecting tract to the epidermis, and the higher prevalence of calcifications, hair fragments, or both. Summary Around or avoid mildly hyperechoic lesion with a hypoechoic halo, increased throat transmission, internal linear echogenic and anechoic debris, and no internal Doppler flow is characteristic for an epidermal inclusion cyst.